Okay, for a rotation, you're gonna take your wedge, you're gonna place it just on the inside of your heel, just like that. Then, keeping that pelvis lightly tucked under and the knees straight, we're looking at can we get movement down into this foot? Can we get the arch to start moving? Um, and the way we did that, keeping that slight tilt, the easy version, with the tilts, you rotate over the top. And this was where we kept the rib cage and the pelvis together. The idea with that was that if someone's back becomes a little bit niggly with this, we can take the back out of the equation. All the time, it's moving down into the foot. Ball of the big toe stays lightly placed on the floor, but we can see how that arch starts to lift up underneath. So this gate post, um, which is the right leg, has the gate just rotating over the top. Now, things to watch out for, when you start pushing your hip back to cheats, when you start getting all the movement through your back. Um, so we're just looking at, can we talk the rotation from the pelvis into the hip, which then picks up the rotation and goes past the knee down into the foot. Now, if the back's not painful with that, we can start putting the arm in as well. And this is where we just took an arm and lightly reached back like this. The head stays facing forwards. The other one we can play with is to reach across with the left 